Stress. The very word can send shivers down your spine. It's often portrayed as a villain, a silent killer that lurks in the shadows waiting to pounce. And it's true, chronic stress can wreak havoc on our physical and mental health. But what if I told you that stress isn't always the enemy? This is the paradox of stress. It's a double-edged sword, capable of both harm and good. On one hand, it can lead to burnout, anxiety, and a host of health problems. On the other hand, it can fuel our motivation, enhance our performance, and even make us more resilient. The key to harnessing the power of stress lies in understanding its dual nature. By learning to distinguish between good stress and bad stress, we can leverage its positive effects while mitigating its negative ones. This essay will delve into the fascinating world of stress, exploring its impact on our lives, both at work and beyond. We'll uncover the science behind stress, its effects on our bodies and minds, and most importantly, how we can manage it effectively to live healthier, happier, and more productive lives. Stress triggers a cascade of physiological responses in our bodies. When we perceive a threat, our brain releases hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. These hormones prepare us for a fight-or-flight response, increasing our heart rate, sharpening our focus, and giving us a burst of energy. In short bursts, this stress response can be incredibly beneficial. It can help us meet deadlines, perform well in high-stakes situations, and even protect us from danger. However, when stress becomes chronic, it can have the opposite effect. Prolonged exposure to stress hormones can lead to a range of health issues including heart disease, depression, and a weakened immune system. So how can we ensure that stress works for us, rather than against us? The answer lies in stress management techniques. One effective method is mindfulness meditation, which has been shown to reduce stress levels and improve overall well-being. Another approach is cognitive behavioral therapy, which helps individuals reframe their thoughts and develop healthier coping mechanisms. Physical activity is also a powerful stress reliever. Regular exercise can help reduce the levels of stress hormones in the body and trigger the release of endorphins, which are natural mood lifters. Social support is another crucial factor, Talking to friends, family, or a therapist can provide emotional relief and help us gain perspective on our stressors. Setting boundaries and learning to say no can also prevent us from becoming overwhelmed by stress. Additionally, staying organized and managing our time effectively can reduce the feeling of being overwhelmed. Simple techniques like deep breathing exercises can also help calm our nervous system and reduce stress in the moment. By incorporating these strategies into our daily lives, we can transform stress from a destructive force into a powerful ally. Remember, stress is an inevitable part of life, but it doesn't have to control us. With the right tools and mindset, we can navigate stress effectively and use it to our advantage. So, the next time you feel stress creeping in, take a moment to assess it. Is it pushing you to grow, or is it holding you back? The choice is yours. Embrace the two faces of stress, and let it be a catalyst for your personal and professional growth. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay balanced and stay strong. In today's fast-paced, always-on world, work stress has become a pervasive issue, affecting millions of people globally. The constant connectivity through emails, messages, and virtual meetings means that the boundaries between work and personal life are increasingly blurred. This relentless pace leaves little room for relaxation and recovery, making stress an almost inevitable part of modern work life. From demanding deadlines to long hours and constant pressure to perform, the modern workplace can be a breeding ground for stress. Employees often find themselves juggling multiple tasks simultaneously, trying to meet the high expectations set by their employers. This can lead to a sense of being constantly overwhelmed as there is always more work to be done and never enough time to do it. Work stress manifests itself in various ways from feeling overwhelmed and anxious to experiencing physical symptoms like headaches, fatigue, and insomnia. These symptoms can significantly impact an individual's overall health and well-being, leading to more serious conditions such as depression and anxiety disorders. The lack of quality sleep further exacerbates the problem, creating a vicious cycle of stress and poor health. It can lead to decreased job satisfaction, reduced productivity, and increased absenteeism. When employees are stressed, they are less likely to be engaged and motivated in their work, which can result in lower quality output and missed deadlines. Additionally, the physical and mental toll of stress can lead to more frequent sick days, further impacting the overall productivity of the organization. 
The causes of work stress are multifaceted, ranging from individual factors like workload and job insecurity to organizational factors like poor management and lack of support. High workloads can make employees feel like they are constantly playing catch up, while job insecurity can create a sense of fear and uncertainty about the future. Poor management practices such as lack of clear communication and unrealistic expectations can further contribute to a stressful work environment. Identifying the sources of stress in your own work environment is crucial for developing effective coping mechanisms. By understanding what triggers your stress, you can take proactive steps to address these issues. This might involve setting more realistic goals, improving time management skills, or seeking support from colleagues and supervisors. Keeping a stress journal can be a helpful tool in this process, allowing you to track patterns and identify specific stressors. The good news is that work stress is a manageable problem. Organizations can play a significant role in reducing stress by fostering a supportive work environment, offering stress management resources, and promoting a healthy work-life balance. Regular team-building activities and open communication channels can help create a more positive and collaborative workplace culture. By implementing practical strategies and making conscious efforts to prioritize our well-being, we can create a healthier and more productive work-life balance. Techniques such as mindfulness, regular exercise, and setting boundaries between work and personal time can be highly effective in managing stress. It's important to remember that taking care of your mental health is not a luxury, but a necessity for long-term success and happiness in both your professional and personal life. Chronic stress is not just an inconvenience, it's a serious health hazard. When we're constantly under stress, our bodies go into fight or flight mode, releasing a surge of hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. While this response is helpful in short bursts, prolonged exposure to these hormones can have detrimental effects on our health. It can weaken our immune system, making us more susceptible to infections and illnesses. Chronic stress is also linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease as it can raise blood pressure and damage blood vessels. Moreover, it can contribute to mental health problems like anxiety, depression, and burnout. It's essential to recognize the signs of chronic stress and seek professional help if needed. Early intervention is crucial for preventing long-term health consequences. Section 4. The Productivity Plunge Stress and Poor Work Performance Stress doesn't just affect our health, it also takes a toll on our work performance. When we're stressed, our ability to think clearly, make sound decisions, and focus on tasks at hand is compromised. We become more prone to errors, miss deadlines, and struggle to meet expectations. Stress can also lead to procrastination, avoidance behaviors, and difficulty in collaborating with others. This decline in productivity not only impacts our individual performance but also affects the overall efficiency and success of teams and organizations. By addressing the root causes of work stress and implementing stress management techniques, organizations can create a more supportive and productive work environment for their employees. Section 5. The Surprising Upside. Stress as a Motivator. While chronic stress can be debilitating, not all stress is bad. In fact, stress is a natural response that has evolved to help us deal with challenges and threats. It's our body's way of preparing to face difficult situations. In fact, a certain amount of stress can be beneficial, even essential, for our well-being and performance. This type of stress, often referred to as eustress, can actually enhance our abilities and push us to achieve more than we thought possible. Think about it, we often perform our best when we're under a healthy amount of pressure. Whether it's an athlete competing in a high-stakes game or a student studying for an important exam, the right amount of stress can be a powerful motivator. The adrenaline rush before a big presentation, the focus required to meet a tight deadline, these are examples of how stress can motivate us to rise to the occasion. This heightened state of alertness can help us concentrate better and work more efficiently. This type of stress, known as eustress, is characterized by feelings of excitement, challenge, and engagement. It's the kind of stress that makes us feel alive and invigorated, ready to tackle whatever comes our way. It can enhance our alertness, focus, and cognitive function, pushing us to perform at our peak. When we are in this state, our brain releases chemicals like adrenaline and cortisol, which can improve our reaction times and decision-making abilities. The key is to find the sweet spot, the optimal level of stress that challenges us without overwhelming us. Too little stress can lead to boredom and stagnation, while too much stress can cause anxiety and burnout. This is where stress management strategies come into play, 
allowing us to harness the power of stress while keeping it in check. Techniques such as mindfulness, exercise, and time management can help us maintain a healthy balance. Mindfulness practices such as meditation and deep breathing exercises can help us stay grounded and focused, reducing the negative effects of stress. Regular physical activity is another effective way to manage stress, as it helps to release tension and improve our mood. Time management is also crucial. By prioritizing tasks and setting realistic goals, we can avoid the feeling of being overwhelmed and ensure that we are using our time effectively. In conclusion, while stress is often seen as a negative force, it can also be a powerful motivator when managed correctly. By understanding and harnessing the positive aspects of stress, we can improve our performance and well-being. So, the next time you feel stressed, remember that it might just be the push you need to achieve your best. Embrace it, manage it, and let it drive you towards success. Section 6. Building Resilience. Stress as a Crucible. Life is full of challenges, and adversity is an inevitable part of the human experience. While we can't always control the stressors we encounter, we can control how we respond to them. Stressful experiences, when navigated effectively, can be opportunities for growth and resilience. They can teach us valuable lessons, strengthen our coping mechanisms, and help us develop a greater sense of self-efficacy. The process of overcoming adversity can be likened to forging steel. Just as heat and pressure are necessary to transform iron into a stronger material, stress can temper us, making us more resilient and adaptable in the face of future challenges. By embracing a growth mindset and viewing stress as a potential catalyst for growth, we can transform our relationship with stress from one of fear and avoidance to one of acceptance and even empowerment. 